Dude, the despair stun is too good. Dude, why don't I get my stuns? It's freaking insane. It's so dumb. <laughs> Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help from me and other Summoner's War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. This is the first Siege video I am doing after I've moved and you can see on my background it's not really pretty but sadly this is going to be my setup. We are going to be taking out all those things on the back but it is going to kind of cut off in that wall. Hope you guys understand. It's just I don't have a studio or anything. This is my room. So sadly this is what we have to deal with. <laughs> We're going against a very strong guild it looks like because the red guild is taking over the map. 19 towers, over 13,000 points already. We do have second place, but to solidify that, I think we do have to take a few red towers if we can. So we're going to hit this one right here because we do want to take this to take a tower back. And they do look doable. I don't know how tanky this guy is. I hope he's not on a high defense build, but they do have a defense lead, so I'm kind of hesitant to do a copper bulldozer. That would have been my my more common offense if it wasn't a Belio. Maybe I could do a Lucian with Bale. Yeah, this is just my BGR5 Bale, super slow, hoping my Kona goes first and gives my fat Lucian a turn, kills off the Abelio and Fane. And then we only have to deal with the Perna, which should be fairly easy with two wind tanks and uh, Frankenstein just finishing the Perna off. We have to really kill this guy. Oh my goodness, that's some crazy ass runes. So we lost. Because he's gonna take a turn, he's not dying. Wow, he's not dying. Here comes out the Wild Cure. Actually, we might still be able to win. Okay, we got five stacks. Can we kill the Perna? We have to kill the Perna here. Okay, we got one crit. Oh my goodness, yeah. This is what I was getting. Oh, he procced. This is really bad. Yeah, we're dead. We are definitely dead. Uh, maybe I should have saved the five stacks. But the Perna stunned, her, stunned him nonetheless. And this guy's not on violence, so I can't give him a turn right away. Oh my goodness. Okay, we lost. So he's a high HP Abelio, so let's try and take in this instead. He had more than like 40k HP. So I'm hoping my copper could just kill the Abelio. There you go. See, I should have just brought this in. Yeah, he just made a Lucian proof, but yeah. He had a lot of damage reduction from wind, which you saw there. He only took 53k, and my copper usually hits like 65. So there's a lot of wind damage reduction that's on that unit. Oh, I should have used my boost. Well, that's fine. So we killed him once. Don't die. Yes. Um, I'll give it to this guy. Just hope I could get the... Okay, okay, whoa, just don't get your passive back up. Okay, cool. So I should have taken this offense first. Man, okay, this one is interesting. So I'm I'm scared that this is a really fast Daphnis. Kill somebody off, he gets another stack, and then it just gets really annoying, which I don't really want. Hmm. I mean, taking Lucian here would have been a great option as well. But now my Lucian's gone, so I can't do that. Let's try to cleave this, nonetheless. We'll go first. We'll kill the Daphnis for sure, but he'll come back. I'm hoping this Iris is not crazy tanky. And my Xeros could wipe the Daphnis and the Iris out together. You're not that... F oh, see how fast he is? He was definitely going for, like, a snipe. 
Okay, we got the three defense breaks. Come on. Do we kill two? Oh, we kill none. But we kill all here. Right? Wow. That was pretty damn bad. You have to kill this guy. If you kill the damage dealer, it's kind of over. Yeah. Cool. But a lot of these defenses have a lot of damage reduction artifacts, which is allowing them to survive. Anyhow, we got the win. I don't know how to deal with this. First of all, why wouldn't this work? I move first, I kill the Martina once, and then I kill the Martina twice. Or will I kill him twice? Like, is this Martina tanky? Let's try it. How could this be harder than the Martina Shiny Triana? Yes, the Triana saves them once. Oh, okay, they're very tanky. They have shield will. It looks like it's probably like a Lucian trap. People try to Lucian this. Let's go for this. Oh, she's tanky. Oh, whoa, whoa. You cut. So we kill. Okay, she's coming back. Now she's going to do some. Okay. So, oh, no, no, don't die. Oh, we lost. Dang. I didn't know she'll kill that quickly. Oh, and the defense buff is kind of too much, isn't it? Oh, well. It's not. Dang, they're really. They're 40k, right? That's 30%. 13k. So that's 40k HP. That's a really tanky Martina. Definitely Lucian proof. Don't stun? Ah, oh, it's done. Okay. Okay, okay. So, I mean, I never went against this. So, let's see what we could do now. <laughs> After losing once. Let's see what we could do. Hmm. What's a good one? Do you think we will lose if we take in a Diana? I hope this guy doesn't get stunned. There's a good chance he's going to get stunned, though. And maybe, maybe a Juno. But it could work. Technically, if the, if the Nana survives... Well, the Nana is only going to go for Juno anyways. There you go. There you go. And then I strip everybody. Stun. Okay, double stun. Okay, this is very good. That's fine. And then we go for the initial kill on the Martina. Let's see how tanky you are. Well, we know she's tanky. We know she's tanky for sure. No stun. That's huge. Um, I don't want to give them attack buff, so I'm just going to do this. Like, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need these procs. I need the Diana to do those procs. No stun there. That's fine. That's fine. Oh shoot. No, okay, okay, that's fine. Heal. Thank you. We kill once. Now we need the proc. No, nope, we don't get the proc. Don't die, please. Okay. Um kinda wanna try and go for the stun. Stun. No stun. Oh shoot, this is bad. They're moving too many times. Okay, here. Now we I'm just gonna go kill the Martina, because I think if we kill the Martina we win. Cool, we killed the Martina, and then that should be it. Yep, that should be it. So I'm gonna stun this. Oh, no stun. Um, let's just take off the defense break. Nice proc. Now, they can't steal our buffs anymore. So I think it was really smart that we didn't put attack buff, because if we did, they'll steal the attack buff with those procs. Probably one of our units would have died. But because we saved that and killed the Martina first, if we have free reign over this team now on nemesis so there's a chance that he she could steal a turn so i'm just gonna go for this let's go for the heals actually let's put up will because she might be able to put up the defense for break right now yeah there you go defense break so the the china actually hits pretty hard nice done and that's it so yeah Maybe I should have thought of it more in the beginning, <laughs> but I guess that didn't work out. Okay, this one, if I had my reset, that would have been a pretty easy fight, but my reset is gone. Kind of want to use the Leica here, probably with like a friend and my Wind Panda, something that I use a, used a lot in my early days. They don't have a strip. They don't have a strip other than the Perna. I think we'll kill the Perna first. Yeah, that does that. Cool. Put up Calm Mind because we know Perna is going to go for the Wind Panda. So if you get a lucky defense break, we get a kill. Uh, let's see how hard we hit, actually. <laughs> okay. That's all I needed. All I needed. 
Um, I want to just kill the Perna. So we're going to keep going for the Perna. We don't have to heal the Laika because Laika's going to heal up. There you go. So I don't see how we could lose here now. Unless the Molong procs a lot. Because I know Mol Molong could kill, could kill the Laika. Ooh, so close. We just kill here. Nice. Okay. I think we won. Cool. Nice counter right there. We already lost twice this siege battle, huh? That's bad. I should really be focusing more. Nice counter. Nice. Easy win. Easy, easy win. This one is a fast one. I don't like these fast defense. I mean, fast offenses. Because I know Rauk has a very nice base speed. I don't know if I could outspeed. Especially since I killed the speed so much on this guy. So we have to actually tank this out. What's a good way to take this out, guys? Do you think the Abelio will be a good good way to take this out? I think so. I think Abelio will be good. How about we also take the Alexandra? And maybe, okay, we, okay, this could work. And then we take in our Elena 5, which is the Nigong. You know, some chip damage. And then we will use Alexandra if she survives. <laughs> if. That's a big if, right? Okay, okay, nice, nice. We, wow. Oh, what the heck? The double strip there, it felt like I was not going to get bombed because you survive for, survive the survive the initial strip. Wow, that's very squishy. This is scary. I am not going to get a hundred attack bar, so he, she's going to outspeed. Oh my, she actually freaking got the stun, but nice proc. Stun. Nope. Don't proc. Thank you. Sleep. Nice. Um. I don't think we even have to use that. Let's just go for this. Ooh, that's a pretty hard hit. Oh, the reflect damage actually woke the Sierra up. Okay, here it comes. We're gonna cleanse this and then we're gonna now heal up. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That was scary. <laughs> Where did the Roko? <laughs> Where did the Roko? <laughs> Where did the Roko? The Roko just got destroyed. Okay. Okay, there you go, there you go. It's done. Nope. Stun, nice. Sleep, nope. Crit, nice. Okay, easy one. Um, so we could actually use a bail here. Yeah, this should work. So let's take this. I don't know how good Nora's strip is. That's a question. Here comes Nora's strip. Oh no, Nora's going second. Okay. No, no, it's going third. Interesting. No provoke. Oh, shoot. Okay, we have to cleanse that provoke because we do want to throw it up. And I think the only thing that could kill us is really the fang. So let's go for the fang. Oh, that's a, that's a squishy fang, I think. Nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The proc. The proc is not good. Oh, shoot. This is very bad. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Okay, we heal, but she's gonna move. Ooh, the stun! Wow, that is just BS, isn't it? That's a big BS. I have to get a freeze here. Oh, I got the freeze. Okay, five stacks again. I'm just gonna do it on the Busa, because I think he has skill three again. He's gonna put up the shield anyways. No, he didn't. So maybe I should. Oh. Never mind. He did do it. I have five stacks again though. And I have the cleanse. That's why I went to the unicorn form to make sure I had this. But we don't have the rock. And my my who's this guy? It's not on it's not on violent. So Oh my goodness. That shield is so big. Okay, we're not on violent, you have to wait another turn. Dude, why do you always have that? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, that's good. Don't proc. Okay, okay, that's fine. Let's freeze. This is the annoying one. Oh my god. They're procking so many times. Stop. This guy is on despair. Dude. Okay, it's getting pretty annoying now. So I want this guy to stop. My unicorn is also not on... Um, violent Dude, the despair stun is too 
Good. That's so stupid. The despair stun. She's she's stunning everybody. Oh my goodness. Dude, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that's like the most stupidest thing I experienced this entire time. Oh shoot, I don't have skill too. Wow, this is so stupid. Oh my goodness. Well guys, this is why you have to have um, <laughs> violent on your units here. I can't, I can't believe I lost to this because it's such a weak defense to be honest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Despair and Aura destroyed me. <laughs> okay, let's just Lucian this. I mean, I, I want to bring in like a Susano, but I don't think we have the Adas. I think we already used him. Or we won't have enough damage. I don't know. But yeah, this is the only guy that's left. Uh, I will be really surprised if we lose here. Um, that's a lot of stuns though. I think I have to go for the heal. Yeah, let's go for the heal. Oh my goodness, please stun. His stun rate is so high. It's not even funny. Uh, let's do this. Make sure he crits. Freaking hate it. He, oh my goodness. Stun. Dude, why do I... Get my stuns. It's freaking insane. Okay, let's do this. Oh my, look at that. The freaking stun rate is so bad. It's like stun is embedded in his kit. It makes freaking no sense. Stun. Can you stop? Done? I'm getting freaking tilted. <laughs> oh my, look at that stun rate. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Well, I guess you have days like this, guys. It's why you play Summon's War, but this was definitely a tilting one. And, like, I'm not landing defense breaks, which is also pretty tilting. But that was it, guys. Um, That was a very tilting one. And it was definitely one where I know, where it, remind, where it reminded me that I'm playing some as well. <laughs>